Hi, welcome along to another video. Links to the article shown are in the information section of this video. We'll start in the Middle East, in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia to begin cloud seeding project. The Saudi National Center of Meteorology, NCM, announced that it is preparing to start a cloud seeding project as part of the kingdom's pursuit for new sources of water in the desert country. The center stated that the artificial rain program will be one of the promising programs and will start from the southern regions. And the same story in the Saudi Gazette from the 10th of August in Qatar, Bayonet Engineering Qatar for exciting meteorological and environmental solutions. 11th of August 2021. There is various interesting technology in meteorology. Here are some of them. Cloud seeding. If you want to make it rain, cloud seeding is an answer. Cloud seeding is one of the most advanced and helpful tools in meteorology. Over to the United Arab Emirates. Heavy rain falls over Sharjah, Rastafari, after cloud seeding. Successful cloud seeding operations led to heavy rainfall over the east of Sharjah on Monday afternoon. But no further wet weather is forecast for this week. That was on August the 9th. So it definitely has an effect. As you can see from the picture there, it looks quite stormy. In the Khalij Times, UAE, flood alert as hail, heavy rains hits part of country. Temperature crosses 50 degrees C. No surprise if you're redistributing moisture throughout the area. Less moisture, less sunlight reflection, higher temperatures. You can see a picture of the hailstones there. In the Philippines, August the 11th, planned cloud seeding cancelled as more rains expected in Bohol. Good news, America. The Central Arizona Project, water, water supply, building resiliency, augmentation, weather modification projects. Weather modification activities support cloud seeding projects in the upper Colorado River Basin that aim at generating greater runoff volumes in the Colorado River. Weather modification is a jointly funded endeavor between the CAP, the SNWA and California's Six Agency Committee the CAP, Central Arizona Project, the SNWA, Southern Nevada Water Authority. If we look at the Southern Nevada Water Authority's Board of Directors regular meeting from May 2018, comments by the general public, there were no speakers. You might want to have a think about that, Nevada. If we go to point 14 of that meeting for possible action, Approve the agreement establishing programmatic funding for Colorado River Basin weather modification in substantially the same form as that attached hereto among California's Six Agency Committee, Central Arizona Water Conservation District, Colorado Water Conservation Board, Utah Division of Water Resources, Wyoming Water Development Office, the New Mexico Interstate Stream Commission and the authority for an amount not to exceed four million dollars over the next eight years. So that would then be 2018 report up to 2026. Vice Chair Coffin asked if staff anticipated any resistance from Midwest states to the partners weather modification efforts. Mr. Entzminger said that staff did not anticipate resistance as there was no scientific evidence linking any adverse weather patterns to cloud seeding efforts. Final action, Vice Chair Coffin made a motion to approve staff's recommendation. The motion was approved. The motion being that the funds paid to those people mentioned before are to not exceed $4 million up to 2026. Motion approved. There is information on the Six Agency Committee, which is part of the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California, on the California 
www.cloudseedingannualreport.gov website. Cloud Seeding Annual Report for the 2020 winter season. There's lots of data in that report. It was carried out by the North American Weather Consultants and that's included here just in case you're looking for proof. Arizona Cloud Seeding Effort, a Salt River Project Perspective. So if we look at the Surface Water Resources Joint Meeting Report from March 2018, we can see it covers early cloud seeding projects. The first pilot project took place during July and August 1947 when the Arizona Republic chartered a DC-3 and began dropping dry ice into cumulus clouds on the Salt and Verda watersheds. And you can see from the table there running from 1947 up to 1952-53 with the flying hours increasing that this moisture redistribution has been going on for a long time. Arizona's current interest and activities looks to be around the White Mountains. The North American Weather Modification Council website link is in the, inf in the information section. You can find a lot more information there. And to finish up from the Central Arizona Project, the agencies mentioned target cloud seeding operations in the states of Wyoming, Colorado and Utah. These and many other weather modification activities are coordinated with the North American Weather Modification Council. There's an article in the Clark County Local News. I've put a link to it but we can't access it from the UK or Europe. So if you're somewhere else and you want to have a look, um, it's something to do with an audit presentation to do with weather modification in America because we're not allowed to see it. And to finish up in the New York Post, I'm sure you've all heard about um, IPCC story that's going around, which seems to be a primer for geoengineering, for public geoengineering, rather than what we're seeing now. Please use the information provided when you hear people talking about this, that and the other. Always bring the weather modification activities into the conversation when people start talking about this stuff as it's not being spoken about. Hope you found this information useful. Look after yourselves, take care and see you next time.